This is Coyote News. Hello, I'm Tal Tanner. And I'm Molly Spurlick. We'll have more on those stories, but first. Super Tuesday is over, and so is Michael Bloomberg's campaign. Bloomberg dropped out of the Democratic primary race this morning. 14 states held their primaries or caucuses yesterday to determine which Democrat will run against President Trump in the fall general election. Former Vice President Joe Biden won the most states with nine, including Texas. But Senator Bernie Sanders won the state with the most delegates, California. This isn't the last of the primaries. The next ones are set for Tuesday, when six states will cast their ballots. South Dakotans will vote in their, in their primary on June 2nd. Early Tuesday morning, an EF3 tornado killed 24 people, injured 88 more, and left 18 unaccounted for after touching down in East Nashville, Tennessee. Winds reached upwards of 165 miles per hour and destroyed hundreds of buildings. Wreckage continues to be searched for the missing people before the rebuilding process begins. South Dakota representatives are working on a new law that could make drivers on the road a little safer. House Bill 1169 was passed last month. It bans drivers from using cell phones and other electronics behind the wheel. Some electronics that cannot be used include cell phones, tablets, laptops, and pagers. Drivers may still use electronic devices to contact emergency services, make phone calls, and use GPS features. Any violations will result in fines up to $500 and potential jail time. As the bill is passed to the Senate, South Dakota lawmakers hope this will help keep drivers safe and focused on the road.